6. Or you may have a free version, which is just small patches, and that updates your decimal number, like going from 5.1c to 5.2. Now that the CD is read, scroll down into the list and select the proper Smart Edit version and hit Activate. The program will install and either become active, if it's an update, or request your 12-digit code, if it's a first-time full installation. If you are updating or installing Smart Edit 6 in this manner, it will always ask you for a code, so keep that on hand. After the program is active, you can close the Install Product menu and eject the CD. You will also need to close this little cancel message for the CD. The system will reboot. Now it's just a simple walkthrough of the messages. Choose English on the language choice. And if it's possible to do an update to the machine, like we see here, it will ask you if you want to keep your files current. Anyone using Smart Edit 5 and going to Smart Edit 6 will be able to do this update. This is the first time we've been able to do this when changing whole numbers. Other older Smart Edit versions going to Smart Edit 6 would not get this option and have to do a full install. Please note it's recommended at some point to do a full install of your new operating system at some point. If you choose yes, we will do the update. If we choose no, it would prompt you further for reformatting or doing the full install on the drive. We'll choose yes and it will install the updated software files. Once we are back to the main menu, you can then confirm the version in the system settings menu and begin working on your machine. The last install method is for our newer models that use the newer PC boards, which include the Solitaire Plus, Rename, Rename Plus, Gimnos, Claro, and now the Liberty. These devices use what we call a boot CD, meaning the software is installed during the boot up while CD is in the tray. Please be very careful to note what CD you are using when installing on different Casablancas. Installing the wrong software CD on the machine could cause you severe problems on the operations. The earlier Smart Edit 5 versions had a separate CD for different Casablancas. For instance, there was a Claro Smart Edit 5 boot CD and also a Rename Smart Edit 5 boot CD. Now the Smart Edit 6 has a universal boot CD for all the boot CD models except the Liberty. Liberty still uses its own boot CD. In this case, all you have to do is connect your machine power it up, and immediately put in the proper boot CD and close the tray. This boot CD we're referring to should have come with your unit or is available to download off of our website for any new versions that may come out. The boot CD machines may take a little longer to boot up, but you will see similar screens that you would see on the other models. So here we go choosing our language for English, and in this case I will do a full install, so I will choose No, so you can see the other menus. You'll follow with yes, yes to the additional menus to reformat the drive. The machine will reboot and you will have done a full install of the Smart Edit version on this machine.